Hello everyone, today we are going to be cleaning out my very messy hall closet. I just want to give you stock of what it looks like before we start organizing. All right, so starting with this uh, first little storage drawers that I have here, it's very disorganized, but I have like some medications in here. I don't know if any of these are expired, so that's part of what I'm gonna be doing today is going through to make sure that um, I'm tossing anything that's expired. Again, just all random medications, a lone band-aid, and this poison ivy treatment. So then going into this first drawer here, I have um, just a lot of various products in here that, uh, again, are very disorganized and it's been bothering me for a while. So ideally what I see for this is I would like to have a drawer that has just um, like the travel size things. Um, Kevin and I travel a lot, so having these minis would be really helpful. But again, like it's all mixed in with a lot of extra makeup that I have in here. Um, so I would like to have a drawer on top that has all the travel stuff and then a drawer underneath that has just um, new makeup that is just kind of like extras. I have some extras of uh, face wash and conditioner a couple extras of lotions, things like that. So I do um, coupon. So downstairs I have a storage area that has all of my extra things that I get when I coupon. And typically I'll keep like uh, cleansers and um, lotions, things like that, that I get down there. So I'm gonna move all of these down there. Just random things in this drawer. It doesn't even shut all the way. And I don't think that the drawer below yeah, I don't even know if this opens. I might have to take this one out in order to show you what's in the next one. And there are a lot of things. Yeah, lots of medications. I'm B12 deficient, so that's why I have a ridiculous amount of these um, B12s, just extras. There's definitely more in the bottom. The problem with this drawer is that there are hygiene products mixed in with it. They're both new that I didn't even realize were in here, so I'm not really strategizing, you know, the products that I have. So with that, I'd like to go through and see what is expired. Um, my sister actually is moving into her own place at the end of the month, so if there's anything in here that's duplicates because I didn't realize I had, say like a Tylenol or something, I'm just gonna pass those along to her so it feels good to not have to be wasteful. And then in this bottom drawer, Sorry for the weird angle, but again, we just have extras of lots of stuff. Um, I don't even know what's in here. So again, I feel very wasteful because I might be buying things that are duplicates and not realizing that I already have them. So that's why I kind of wanted to go through everything. So my ultimate goal, like I said, is to have the top two drawers be the um, travel size products and the extra makeup down here then the bottom two um i would like to just have like the extra products that are new medications and things like that and if everything goes well one of these two bottom drawers might just be empty because i hope that i don't have that many extras that i could fill up two drawers because that is wasteful so as far as strategizing the storage of things i got this big oh it won't even fit in the frame <laughs> I got this very big um, storage caddy from Amazon and you may notice that there's a crack on it and I have this weird story, <laughs> but first let me show you what's in it. So it just has um, a big bottom and then it has this top where you can put some smaller items on the top. So the story with this is that um, it came broken and I went to return it and the uh, person on Amazon that I went to return it to said that they would just give me a refund and that I didn't need to send it back because I think it probably would have cost more in shipping than it was really worth. So um, I'm gonna keep this because I already have it and they just let me keep it. I am just gonna use it even though it's a little bit broken. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. It's just like a slight crack right here and then when I open it, sometimes the whole top will kind of just like fall off like if you can see in the back. Um, but we're not really accessing the stuff very often, so I think that it will still be okay. And then I made sure to get dimensions that would fit nicely on top of this. And I think I will just completely forego this storage option. Um, I might just pass this along to my sister, see if she wants it. But this one should fit nicely in here. 
And so I'm going to just go right along to the organization aspect of this, which is what everyone is here for. Now that this is done, I can show you what everything looks like. So in this top, I was able to fit everything that I wanted to, which is just like daily medications. In the top part, we have um, EpiPen because that needs to be easily accessible. And then um, just some um, frequently used medications. And then Band-Aids and alcohol prep wipes. And there's some gauze underneath and a thermometer. The second part down here, I was able to cut up the boxes of medications. They're so flimsy, those boxes, and they just take up so much space, especially when you're kind of running low on the medication and it's just like a mostly empty box. I really hate that. So I just cut off the um, top parts so that I know what it is. And then the expiration date, you can't see it because they're folded, but the expiration date I checked and made sure that they're on each individual um, medication. So I did the same for allergy relief. So. These are all able to be kind of compact, which is nice. And then underneath I just have Tylenol, tummy ache drops, and then some other medications um, in the bottom. So this worked out really nicely because I was able to fit everything that is like frequently used medication in this top part. Since we're on the topic of medications, I'll skip down to the bottom drawer, which is where I was able to fit everything that's extra. So extra bandages, um, extra cough drops, extra B12, um, everything fits in here really nicely. And then we have the heat pack pulled up nicely in here. So I really love how this drawer came out is that this drawer did end up kind of being like a catch all because there's some things that we need close to the bathroom, like the cotton swabs and extra shower filter the loofah things like that i just kind of wanted to be up here rather than to be downstairs where i store all of the extra um toiletry items and then in the second drawer we have all of my travel size stuff this is nicely separated from um all of the makeup that was able to fit in the first drawer so this is just extra makeup that i have it's just easily accessible upstairs in this hall closet so i really love how everything came out I would definitely say that this project was a success and thank you so much for watching. I hope that it inspired you to want to clean up your own hall closet. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.